Hey there everyone, I'm Valkyfano8, and welcome back to Tales of Symphonia. Last time we went through the... What do I always try to say? The Evil Forest. Yes, the Evil Forest of Evil, and all that stuff. <laughs> and we also met up with the convict from the Miltokyo sewers. You know, the guy that I actually had here, the blue-haired guy, yeah. And today... Oh, and we also almost got attacked by the Papal Knights again. So today we are gonna go and run away from them, and we are gonna go to Shina's home village of Mizuho, which is right here. Yeah, totally well hidden. Mizuho is <laughs> the place where the village is. I can't say that. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 独自の文化を守るためだよ。嫌ならあんたはガオラキアの森で待ってるといいよ。いや、冗談でしょ。死の森に置いてきぼりなんてごめんだぜ。ガオラキアの森に一人残った場合も生存確率 25%。Hey, that means I'm gonna get as old as the world. Lucky me. <laughs> but anyway, we have a map skin here right outside of me, so why not just check it out? What's your fighting style called? Oh, I'm a Guardian user. I fight with special cards if used with powers. Guardian user, huh? When I first met you, I was surprised how you could fight with a piece of paper. When dwarves create accessories, they carve charms into them, right? It's similar to that. I see, so if I buy some paper and draw some charms on it... <laughs> it won't work, it's a secret art. Darn. If you really want to learn it, you could just become one of us. Oh, how do you do that? Um, li like marrying? Um, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, what? Uh, I just need to marry, right? Uh, um, I, uh, I, um, no, I mean you want to, if you want to, then, um, uh, I just need to marry someone in your village, right? Oh, you're so insensitive. <laughs> You know, Lloyd, it's pretty obvious that Sheena got kind of a little crush on you. That's actually very, very obvious, to be honest, if you... If you just see how she acts now that towards Lloyd, yeah, it's pretty obvious. But anyway, welcome to the not-so-well-hidden village of Mizuho. Like the music, though, and hey! The village, the village is not made of gold! Damn it, Salos, you lied to me! Sheena, what is the meaning of this? How could you bring outsiders into the village? I am prepared to accept my punishment. Inform the Vice Chief. I've brought the travelers from Silverant. And the Viola! Oh, and Selos and Prisea. And the monkey. From Silverant? You are from the dying world of Silverant? Well, except for me. And Persea and the convict! Well, we think so at least. At least Persea and Zelos. I see. Sheena, come with me. The rest of you, wait in front of the chief's house. Okay. Really like the music in this place though. Always, you, you get kind of a little ninja vibe, I guess. <sighs> oh, he's awake. We should run away, Clutch. Just saying. Where am I? In the Kingdom of Gold! You're our prisoner, and don't try anything funny. I like to think that I'm smart enough not to start trouble when I don't understand the situation. Hey! Actually, character was actually half a brain. Actually, I, I actually seems like he got more of that too. I like this guy already. Huh. That was it, huh? Okay, let's start by young girls. Oh. That's a guy, isn't it? Most likely, yeah. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> but anyway, there isn't really much to do in this village either. 
except, you know, going and actually, uh, well, there's a dog there, though, but, except for actually just going to the chief's house, but I'm just gonna look around a little bit, and I'm gonna talk to some ladies, get some money, and hit on small kids, yeah, okay, Cell Cello's got some weird taste now and then. <laughs> But anyway, really the only thing that I want to do now is talk to the dog and give him a new awesome name. This is... Tiggy. I feel that's more fitting for a cat, to be honest. You know, Tigger? Tiger? Yeah? Ah, whatever. <laughs> Let's just go to the chief's house. Or talk to this guy, I mean. The vice chief is ready to see you. Wait, Orochi? Oh god, no! I don't want to fight you for a fourth time! Oh, I'm so tired of giving you a sake! Sorry, sorry, just bad memories here. Love Okami and all, but goddamn Orochi! I will say this Orochi lacks a number of heads. Travelers from Silverant, you may enter. Thank you. Our leader, Chief Igaguri, is ill. I, the Vice Chief Tiger, shall speak on his behalf. This guy is awesome, I think. Because Sheena failed to kill you, we, the people of Mizuho, now face persecution from the Tetheala royal family and the Church of Martel. Is that true? Yes, at least from what I've heard. Now I have a question. I will say that Convict is quite knowledgeable. <laughs> People of Silveron, what do you plan to do in Tetheala, the land of your enemies? I've been thinking about that for a long time. Someone asked me why I came all the way to Tetheala, what it is that I want to do. I want a world where everyone can have a normal life. I'm tired of people having to become sacrifices. I'm tired of discrimination. I'm tired of people becoming victims. I'm tired of it all. You know, Lloyd, when you actually put your mind into stuff, you are pretty damn good at what you do. What you do. <laughs> that was deep. That was good. You are an idealist. Oh, big time. The worlds of Tetheala and Silveron flourish only by victimizing the other. Oh, and by the way, Chief Igagur is the guy you can barely see the head of. Who's laying beside Sheena there. Yeah, that's the Chief. So long as that structure remains the same, anything you say is mere sophistry. Then we need to change that structure. This world was made by that Yggdrasil guy, right? If a human or elf built this, then we should be able to change it as well. <laughs> You speak like the hero, Mythos. He was a sublime idealist. He ended the ancient war by insisting there was a way for the two warring countries to coexist in peace. Are you saying you can become the next Mythos? That is a funny thought. You'll see why. <laughs> I'm not Mythos. No, oh, you're Lloyd. I want to save the two worlds my way with the help of my friends. I see. In other words, you aren't worried about following past methods. Why is Sheena looking so sad? Well then, we shall search for a new path as well. Vice Chief, do you mean... Yes, we will use our information network to aid you. In return, when the path of prosperity for both worlds has been found, we wish to move our people to Silveron. But I don't have any right to decide something like that. All we need is for you to aid us in our move. Is everyone okay with us joining forces with the people of Mizuho? Oh, hell yeah! Having ninjas on our side, we can't lose. If it will change the relationship of the two worlds. Well, it doesn't sound like a bad deal. Let's hurry up and decide so we can go rescue Persea! Of course, that's what you're thinking about. 
As long as Tetheala is safe, I don't care what you guys do. Okay then, it's settled. We're going to look for a way to change the two worlds. Let's work together. Agreed. Then I hereby order Sheena to continue to accompany you. Yay, I think. Well, yay! <laughs> she do have the summon spirits, so yay! Summon spirits! This time, however, not just as an observer, but as a representative. Make us proud. Yes, sir! Awesome. But Taiga, you sure you want to turn the royals and the church against you like that? You know, they're already outsiders, so I think it's gonna be fine. How about if I ask you? Given a choice between the forces which wish to sacrifice one of the worlds, and the force that wishes to preserve both worlds, which would you side with? Damn, this guy's good. <laughs> I'd like to say the one that's likely to win, but I suppose I'd want to help the side that wants to preserve both worlds. Exactly. Now the first thing we shall do is devote all our resources to locating the Riards. Fortunately, it appears that Sheena attached a guardian to the Riards, so we should be able to locate them shortly. Understood. Thank you for your help. Is he for real? Oh yeah! <laughs> and Lloyd gets the title, Gentle Idealist. Which is a decent title, but I don't think I'm gonna equip it. What's your name? Regal. Regal, huh? Finally I can stop calling him Mr. Convict. Or monkey. I'm sorry, <laughs> but we're gonna have to keep you prisoner for a bit longer. You know, Lloyd, I think he's used to it. Lloyd, how about letting Pops here fight too? Yes, please. Even though he might betray us? Yes, please. He has business with Perseia, right? Then he's not gonna try anything before he gets a chance to speak with her, you know? Actually, that's not a bad idea. Rain? I don't know about this, but I won't make a fuss. I also started off as your enemy. Good point. Well, will you fight alongside us for now? Alright. Ah, the music again. <laughs> hmm. Once again, I just want to let the game stay here for a while so you can listen to the music. But I have a very long fight ahead of me now, so I just have to continue, sadly. I swear upon my good name. These shackles that bind me, I shall not betray you. If you do anything, even the slightest bit suspicious, I'll burn you to a crisp. Got it? Fair enough. Well then, welcome to our group, Regal. <laughs> and Regal joins the party. And yes, he is the final party member in this game. And he is awesome. Now, as I said a little while ago though, I have a very long fight ahead of me, so I won't be going over Regal as a party member until the next video, but he is freaking awesome. Remember that I said that there is one party member that a lot of people consider stronger than Perseia? Well, it's Regal. But, uh, yeah. When you are here in Mizuho though, there is actually a title you can get for Celebs from a skit. So, I will be skipping all these skits, really, until I get that one that I actually need. It can take a while, so I will cut until I get it. And of course, I will also show skits if there's some funny ones. Yeah. <laughs> ここに住むなよ。僕には魔法があるんだからな。ジーニアス。な、何プレセアのことは僕が守るから。彼に敵いなし。光線の必要なし。え。はあ。うん。また私はあなたに守られることはありません。うん。うん。Seems like but anyway, the skit hasn't popped yet, but I'm just gonna give you a little hint, a little tip, and if you go and talk to Taiga, he will heal you up. 
And of course, we are in Ninja Village, so we can't just uh, go through the door. No, we need to go through the wall. <laughs> just talk to Tiger, rest up, and the skit will pop in. Well, no time really. Nah, Rigaru. Anta, nan de sonna tekase o tsuke deru na? Kore wa waga tsumi no shoujo. Tekase ga shoujo suru tsumi. Wakatta. Tekase dorobo da na? Are. Chigatte da. Acha. Mawari no hito ni tekase o tsuke te mawatte meiwaku o kage da to ka. Sumanai. <laughs> God damn it, Lloyd! <laughs> there we go! Misuho, the mystical village is this kid. Nando,ゼロスのやつ! <laughs> That's a little guess the title. Idiot chosen. <laughs> and I really like that all the the lies Cellos told them. They are all Japanese mythology or folklore. It's awesome. <laughs> but, and, wait, what was it called? Oh, Toyama. I, I read Toriyama. That would be freaking awesome, but no, no, no. It's not. But anyway, we have a new weapon here that we can make for Lloyd called the Sheeden. And it is lightly, Lightning Elemental, which is the weapon that I was telling you about earlier. Ooh, sure, get cool. That is Lightning Elemental that you can get in this village. But you can also buy it. So we're gonna buy that. I will not buy the shuriken. And as you see, remember when I said that the spell card, Sheena's uh, weakest item, a uh, weapon I mean, which he used against you in the first fight. You can actually buy it here. And you need to buy it if you want it in your collector's book. I won't do that now though. And you can also buy a card of wind for her here. Not too bad. Let's see. Actually, I don't have money for what I wanted to do. They also sell Misuho potions here, which you need to buy at least one of if you uh, when before you go to the next dungeon. I won't do that quite yet though. I'm just gonna buy the new equipment. Give Lloyd the Sheen. There we go. And let's see, Sheena. Oh, the Mr. Rob went right on her. Okay, that's that's not too bad. And now, I want to leave Mizuho. And I want to go back to the forest. And I want to talk to that familiar looking face. So, uh... Yeah. It's time for a very, very long battle. It seems the pursuers have left the forest. You should hurry. Alright, let's head for Alt Altas's place right away. I want to go home to my village. All oh, right, Oset first then. Yes, Persia's parents are probably worried about her. We should head to Oset. Well, isn't that fitting that we actually need to go through Oset to get to Altessa's place? But as I said, not yet. Actually, I also want to save my gown. Oh, there's a save point inside the forest. Shouldn't be a problem. Oh boy, I'm not looking forward to this at all. <laughs> as I said, I do not recommend that you fight him now. You should probably do it, well, after the next dungeon at least. The, uh, the cutout point for this sword dancer is actually very generous. You, uh, you have up till where you want to go and get the, a certain uh, light elemental summon spirit. So you have plenty of time. So I don't recommend that you fight him right now, but I'm going to do that just to make up for the fact that I completely wrecked him back in the Asa Trail. <sighs> the part I'm going with is Lloyd, of course, Rain, Colette, and Celos. I have Celos here just because he can also heal. Colette and Rain should be self-explanatory, and I also want to... Actually, no, I'm going to do that at, in the middle of the fight. So, God, it's going to suck. <laughs> Let's go. F -f 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 fight, fight, fighting is everything. You're 
I remember my reason to exist. Strong one, fight me! You're on. Vaser your life and come! This is going to be an arduous battle. Oh, you have no idea, Rain. <laughs> anyway, this is the Sword Dancer 2, and he got a kill this time. For some reason. Never really understood that. <laughs> but uh, I'll be honest with you guys, I lost the first time. Yes, I did, and this is also both commentary, by the way, because I decided I'm gonna try something new. Which I didn't really think would work, but it did, so I didn't say anything throughout the battle. But, uh, yeah, I lost the first time, because of one item. And that item, you won't believe me, but it's true, was the All Divide. Yes, the item that's just supposed to help you made me lose. And what I mean by that is, because I cut my attack with the All Divide, it made me survive more of its attacks, sure, but uh, my TP felt almost a little bit wasted. I used a lot of TP, but I didn't get anything out of it. And because of that, I run out of items, or TP restorating items for both me and my mages, and I died. I did get him down to 9000 HP, but that was it. So, I don't really recommend using the All Divide if you're fighting him this early. If he hits you, and he actually gets a full combo in on you, yes, you will probably die. Just buy a lot of life bottles, and you should, well, at least be a little bit better off. <laughs> but I should probably talk a little bit about the fight now, right? Yeah, because the Sword Dancer, he got some more tricks up his uh, non-existent sleeves. Yes, he does. <laughs> you actually seen most of them already. He is casting spells now, like Spark Wave, Flame Lance, and Grave. He also got a new move that will kill you if you don't block it, called Death Spiral. Yeah, that. That was timing, nice timing, dude. <laughs> Which he usually likes to use in the end of a combo. And if you're not blocking and you get hit by the full combo, yeah, you're going down. No question about that. <laughs> But, to be honest, this guy, or this fight was a lot easier than I remember it, or uh, that I thought it would be. Just have Colette spam Angel Feathers. Oh, by the way, that's another thing that annoyed me a bit in, the fr in the, my first try. Colette and Rain just really like to run up to him. And decide, I'm gonna cast in the, the uh, between his legs, pretty much. So that spiral can't hit me, and it's gonna kill me. Yeah, it's brilliant. No, it's not. Not at all. <laughs> so, make sure you have at least one of your your mages on... Uh, or one of their spells, that, or the spell that you want to use, on one of your shortcuts. I have... yeah, okay, there I died because of... I tried to get out of that spiral. I have Colette's Angel Feathers on one of my shortcuts, so she will be casting that non-stop. That is, if I actually remember to press the button. <laughs> Which... But I kind of forget at times, for some reason. And of course, Judgment works wonders too. But, like always, I'm not a huge fan of a spell that's completely up to luck. I actually managed to hit him one, two, three times. Awesome! <laughs> and that did some awesome damage on him. But, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of that. So I prefer Angel Feathers, at least against this guy. He's big, so... Uh, Judgment got a high chance of hitting him. But... Angel Feathers will hit him, so yeah, take it as you will, but I prefer Angel Feathers just because of that. But, uh, oh yeah, he also likes to do that, that's kind of sucky. He casts Grave on you and then he will slash you while you fall down, that will hurt. That is probably his uh, second most dangerous uh, technique. It's really up your, just your own fault though if you run up to him and you get hit by that. And, or if you get hit by a grave so close to him, but... <laughs> you will be surprised how many times that actually happens to me. <laughs> but you can also see that when I use Tiger Blade with Lloyd now, I get a new move called Lightning Tiger. That is actually a altered move, which I am actually quite a fan of. And they were just going to continue building on that until they pretty much master it in this area. It is awesome. 
But uh, to be able to use it, you need to use Tiger Blade at least 200 times. And then have a Lightning Elemental Weapon equipped on Lloyd. And you will get Lightning Tiger every time you use Tiger Blade. Which, you wouldn't believe so, but it's actually very helpful against the guy, this guy. Because Lightning Tiger ends with a Lightning Spell. And Spell staggers this guy a little bit more than normal attacks. So that's very helpful. There's a other, there, there's a different alter move I can use right now too, or I or I can, but I won't be able to use it that that much. Called Grave Blade, and to able to be able to use that, you need to use Fierce Demon Tag 200 times with a Earth Elemental Weapon equipped. It's pretty much the same move as Boda's Rock Breaker that he when he put his uh, sword into the ground and he shoots rocks at you. That's pretty much the same thing. Though, of course, it's not as powerful as Boda since he's a boss, so he gets he gets dips on the, uh, the high damage. <laughs> but seriously, I haven't talked about this guy at all, really. This guy is a long, long fight, yes, and he will kill you. There's no question about that. But if you just manage to get Rain and Colette to stay back and cast spells on him while you interrupt them, that's pretty much the only reason why I have Lloyd here and Celos is to interrupt him. And of course, Celos can also heal, but he doesn't really do that much. But uh, yeah, this fight gets hard if the AI is not on your side, which they are not right now. Yeah. Nice work just staying together there so you could both get hit by the flame lance. Awesome work, ladies. <laughs> but I don't really know what more to say about this guy. Just bait him into attacking and then you run up to him and you hit him a couple of times. And you try to time that with one of the uh, Colette or Reigns spells. And you will get a little combo going and you can do at least some decent damage to him. Lloyd and Cellos won't do much damage at all, so the main damage will of course come from the ladies. But if you just manage to stagger him, you are good. You're golden, <laughs> totally. <laughs> and that's the main problem I had with the old divide, because you see Lloyd now is doing around 20 damage to hit. He was doing one damage constantly, and Rain's uh, Photon around 300. And you need to take down 33,333 HP. That is quite a lot. And I ran out of TP so many times on my mages. So I just didn't have enough gels to actually get my TP back up. And I did sell a couple of things and I did a little bit of money grinding outside of Mizuho. Not much, but just enough so I could actually buy some TP regenerating gels. And I thought, okay, I might be able to beat him now. Maybe. I'm just going to try this without the old divine first, and we'll see how it goes. And that's what you see right here. I'm beating him. Yes, I am. And I didn't even use nearly as many gels as I did when I lost to him. So, yeah. <laughs> if you're on this level and you're trying to fight him, I actually recommend you to not use the old divine, because you may win, but goddamn, you will use a lot of gels. And the fight will take forever. I have actually done this before with the old divide and all that. The fight took around 45 to 50 minutes. Now, barely 20. But actually, I think 15 or something. So, yeah. I recommend you to not use the old divide. If you die, you die. It's just that simple. But that's that. Lloyd, you need to remember that enemy's weakness. Oh man, you're making me study here too. Hey, it's way too light. Not that much to remember, Lloyd. <laughs> But from that battle, Lloyd got the Boorish General title, which he gets when you use at least 5 shortcuts in a fight. Which is actually very easy when it comes to fights like this. And we get the Yasakani Jewel, which is another one of those items that no one really knew what did back in the day. And it's kind of funny that we actually get this skit. I won't, you, I won't voice this one because it goes by pretty fast. It's quite funny that we get this skit because this is the continuation of the, uh, the one that, the one that we that we would get if Colette was mute back when we defeated him in the Asa Trail. So yeah, now they finally call him the Elite from the Underworld, which they also do back in the Asa Trail. But we didn't see that because Colette didn't say much at the time. <laughs> But uh, yeah, the Yasakani Jewel is actually a very good accessory. Now, if my past self can actually walk, there we go. Now, let's just see the jewel. Thank you. 
Let's see, item used by the Eastern Gods to defeat evil spirits. Now once again, that doesn't really tell us much. Of course it doesn't say anything on the, uh, on the uh, information about the jewel either. So I'm gonna equip it on Prasea just to show it to you. So let's go into status and you will see it nullifies all physical ailments. Which is pretty damn good, I will say. But with all that out of the way, I am going to end this off. So, next time we are going to Ocent. And we are probably also going to go to Altessa's house. And we are going to go over Regal and get him a new title, even though he already got a level up. But yeah, one level isn't that really that bad. <laughs> so, I thank you all for watching, and I see you all later. That was quite an epic battle. It was fun too. <laughs>